The Automotive Research Association of India is set to inaugurate the country's very first dedicated ADAS test city, a pseudo-urban environment replicating the Indian road network spread across 20 acres at Takwe near Talegao, Pune. A live demonstration of ADAS testing will take place during the ADAS show later this year. The facility has seen a total investment of 50 crore rupees, with 12 crore rupees contributed by the Ministry of Heavy Industries under its Capital Goods Scheme, specifically for procurement of test dummies. In conversation with Dr. Reggie Mathai, Director of ARAI, we gained deeper insights into the vision behind this unique test track, which will support India's vision for a safer future. Dr. Mathai, congratulations first of all and thank you so much for joining us on CNBC TV 18 as well as Overdrive. My first question to you is, can you tell me a little more about the technical specifications of this ADAS uh, testing facility? So the technical, it has got multiple parts. Mm. One is the roads that we have created. Uh, that is around in 20 acres of space at Takwe. It's in Pune. And these roads represent multiple types of scenarios in the current city. So there are straight patches, there are S roads, there are ramps that are created. There is a parking that is created in that. So that is the infra that is created for the roadside. Then there are dummies that we have got, okay, which have platforms in which a human moves, India specific animals move. Right. So vehicles that can be detected by the sensors. So all these are being created so that we see how the India-specific scenarios can be simulated over there. Then at the back end, there is a complete software simulation, uh, hardware in loop, machine in loop, systems in place. So if I look at the totality of it, this is a little complex and we had been planning this for almost for the last five years. And uh, the place we have created now, it's almost ready from December, we are going to put it into use. So we are going to have the event also over there in December. Other than that, the software part, already people are using many of them. The testing part, they are using at various places where it is available. Not very specific in near specific cases. Yes, whatever is available, they are doing. Dummies, whatever is available, uh, those dummies can be used now. But we are again looking at India specific cases. So this investment, totally around, around 50 crores we have put in as of now. Out of that, around 12 crores, Ministry of Heavy Industries has supported us with in under their capital goods scheme. And really, we are thankful to so that we could kickstart many of these activities. All right. And this this is a big project, of course. And this is a very, uh, you know, vast uh, space that you have got as well. Are there going to be more facilities in the future, uh, you know, in other parts of the country? Currently, we are, because this is a very specific India-specific scenarios. Otherwise, there are big tracks available in the country yeah. where you can test high speed or standard tests that are as per the regulations. Right. Uh, but the real challenge is on road, the real city, how it works. So that is where we wanted this. Of course, we may do some augmentation of these tracks, hmm. the due course of time, like certain stretch or certain patch where we can accelerate to a higher level within the, the city level tracks itself rather than going to a big track. But this will be a very not as big as the tracks that are currently prevailing in the country. And just to give us a gist of the level, uh, the, the features that are going to be tested here, the ADAS features. Uh, the ADAS features not only are going to be just uh, like the lane keep assist or the warning systems, but beyond that, we want to also see the softwares that are being used there. How apt are they? Hmm. How responsive are they? Plus the sensors that are being used there. Can we optimize it? Are these sensors really useful? Tomorrow there is fog or the light is not so good. So we are going to create such things so that you can have a complete evaluation of the system. Which OEMs are you already seeing interest from, you know, who are interested in collaborating with ARI? So I won't name them, but all major OEMs, mm -hmm. we are in talk with them. Many of them have used the services. Many of them are discussing with us how to really see that their features that they have created is a value proposition. Mm -hmm. In the end, it has to be a value proposition for the customer. Right. So just to advertise saying that, okay, it has been done and then getting some feedbacks uh, puts everything off. Right. So we have almost all the major OEMs that are working with us and we have been quite blessed with that way to have them all coming together in such forms 
asking us to do different evaluation, understand it and carry out. And how will this test track support Bharat NCAP's, uh, you know, uh, the rating methodology? So in future, the Bharat NCAP will be adopting some of these ideas, which already the discussions are there. Mm. So certain features, the simple ones may be taken now. Maybe the lane keep warning systems or the lane keep assist systems. Are they already in place or the AEB as the braking systems? Some of them may be incorporated in 2.0 the Bharat NCAP 2.0. And as and when we evolve further and further, more and more of these features will start coming into the BNCAP. So this is a panel again working on it. Mm. They discuss it. They align it globally also mm. because we should not have a star system, star rating system, which is too much ahead and not too much below also. Yeah. So we are aligning with that, the global NCAP and all that to how to see that key, the rating systems are matched with it. What type of AI tech is going to be used at the track basically to, you know, enhance the precision of uh, the testing? Uh, the AI tech will come at the back end of it. Mm. Once the data is generated to how to see these analysis are done in a better way. So the software is where the AI is going to be built in. Mm. So the track will have sensors and signboards, signs and all that. Now the AI tech starts working at the software level, how to decipher it, how fast to give that signals, whether it is a correct, all those things will come into the software part. So we will be looking into the standardized packages which are already working like signage should be like this, the road should be like this. Mm. But if somebody wants to do a study saying that, no, 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 the roads, I don't have the lane marking of say five inch width, I have a lane marking of three inch, will it suffice for me in certain places? Right. Are there breaks to be given? There is understanding that when it's a solid line, you should not cross it. When it is a broken line, you can change it. So there are understanding in the, this. So when you do that, uh, without giving the signal, the turning, there's a blinker starts into you. Yeah. Okay, you are done. So is it possible that it deciphers it? Hmm. Okay, there is a break, so he can turn. And without signal, okay, there is small warning. And if it's a solid line, you should get a big warning. Right. So these things are going to be built into the software and to the system. So these are where we are really we have to work a lot together in the country. And these are already existing in many parts, but we are also adopting it in the future. And finally, I have to ask you that uh, the latest, uh, you know, road safety uh, report that has been uh, out by Moth has suggested that a lot of fatalities are pedestrians as well as two-wheel uh, riders, basically. So what will be looked upon at this particular test facility to help, you know, in that respect. So this has been the trend and uh, recently somebody was telling me that wherever countries have more of two-wheelers, mm. this is the same challenge. Yeah. Okay, so it is not, uh, initially we felt that it is a more of India specific. Yeah. But wherever two-wheelers are there, the fatalities are the percentages of two-wheelers and people are the higher ones. Yeah. So one aspect is, we have to look into certain sensitization or certain uh, assist systems in the two-wheelers also. These are to be discussed and taken forward. So globally, this is because two-wheelers are not a major concern, have not been much talked about. The four-wheelers and all are what have been discussed upon, regulations have been framed for them. But for two-wheelers as of now, not much has been done. So India is in a good place to take leadership and we have to take that leadership. And in the coming days, we will be seeing that happening. How the rider assist systems can be taken up. So what level uh, autonomy or what level the controls can be uh, done by some automation. So these are areas that we have to work together. The industry has to come together. All right. Thank you so much for your time. We're really looking forward to checking out the ADAS show in December and seeing the test track as well. Thank you. Thank you so much.